Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet the alpine stitch. This is created by using front post double crochet stitches and double crochet stitches. Uh, the back and the front are not the same, so it's not reversible. And it's a very textured uh, stitch pattern for you to try out. To start with, you will do some setup rows. One row of single crochet, one row of double crochet, and another row of single crochet. And then you will be ready to start the alpine stitch. So here I've done a few rows already, and I'm going to show you how to continue. So I will chain two, which counts as the first double crochet. Then I will front post double crochet around the double crochet below the next stitch from row two. Then I will do one double crochet into the next stitch from the previous row. Then I will repeat. So front post double crochet around the DC below. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. One front post double crochet into the next stitch on the row below. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And you can see how it's starting to form. You repeat that to the end of the row until you get to the last stitch where you will do one double crochet into the very last stitch. Turn the work and then chain one and do a single crochet in each stitch across. Now, once you've finished that, we will continue the alpine stitch pattern. Chain two counts as the first double crochet. Front post double crochet around the next double crochet from the previous double crochet row. Then one double crochet into the next stitch. And front post double crochet around the next double crochet from the previous row. And one double crochet into the next stitch. And repeat that across the row, ending with one double crochet in the last stitch. When you've completed that row and you turn your work again, you will do one row of single crochet um, on the back of the work, which is the wrong side of the work. You can grab the full pattern written instructions on my website um, and this free dishcloth pattern. Um, it's a free downloadable PDF, so you can print that out um, and have a go at doing this stitch pattern and creating something useful that you can use um, in the kitchen. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and the link for the pattern is in the description. Thanks for watching.